Society Hackers. In this episode, we present to you Law Geeks. Welcome back to the next edition of Coding the Future, again from Tel Aviv. I'm here with Shmuli Goldberg from Law Geeks. Shmuli, tell me, what are you doing at Law Geeks? So we've built a platform that can automatically review and approve contracts. And if you'd like, I can show you outside exactly how we do At Logix, you developed a platform for automatic contract review. Correct. Can you explain me with all this setting, how exactly, what is exactly what you're doing? So, the old way you used to check contracts as a business is a customer or a vendor would send you a contract, you give it to your legal team, they'll add it to their pile of things to do, and sometime over the next days or weeks, you'll get it back, hopefully signed, and possibly with changes. Okay. The new platform that we've developed, if I could have that back, please, works completely differently. Our legal team here have set up exactly what they want us to check for in the contract. They define what clauses they're okay with, what terms they're happy accepting, and when I get the contract, I send it into the algorithm, which, based on their decisions, if it matches everything that they need, just approves it and send it straight out. If there's any problems or anything doesn't match their criteria, it alerts the legal team, they can make changes within the application, within the platform, and an email is sent straight back to me, that the contract is done and ready to sign. What is happening inside this algorithm box? The first thing we do when a document comes in is we use something called natural language processing to work out what clauses and what legal concepts are in the document. We break it down section by section, clause by clause, to say this has, let's say, a letter of indemnification or intent or some sort of liability. And once we've broken that down section by section, we then compare it against the legal team's own playbooks, their checklist that says this we accept, this we don't, this we accept, this we don't. If everything matches up, we can actually approve the contract automatically, and we have a workflow that sends it back to the person that originally submitted it saying, great, you're approved, you can sign. How long does this take usually? We do it in less than an hour. So what I was wondering, I never did a contract review myself, but what I was wondering is whether a contract review can just be done by plain logic or if you need to have some interpretation, like say some human emotional intelligence added to it. So I would say that over half the contracts which we review you just need basic logic for. It's an NDA which is often the same exact NDA you've seen many times. Often the people that send it to you just downloaded it from Google and you may have even approved it two or three times before in the past. When there is an element of nuance, when there is something that requires you to make a decision, then we'll flash it up to you and say, here's your whole contract. On page 19 at the bottom, there's this section that we need your opinion on. And we'll just highlight to you what you need to actually focus on you can make the decisions within the application and send off an approval or rejection. And isn't your platform just uh, the beginning of the end for legal counsel? Not at all. We're, we're not looking to destroy legal counsels. I would say more than that. It's a killer app for legal counsels. It's something which they can use on a daily basis to make themselves more efficient, to make themselves more accurate, to get a whole bunch of busy work off their plate and the whole business gets to move faster. Deals don't wait for legal anymore. Okay, and one more thing I wanted to ask you. I saw you have written on the walls, uh, legal to the people. Right now I can see that it's legal to the business, kind of. Correct. How can people benefit from it in the future? It's, it's our end goal. Our end goal is to automate legal and bring legal solutions to everyone out there that needs. Be your business, be an individual, people that can't afford legal, people that can afford legal. Once we know how to automate as much as we can of the legal world, then we can make it accessible. We can give it to anyone. Our goal is to automate the legal world to the point where businesses, individuals can gain and not have expensive legal fees and not have serious legal problems in the world. Please leave us some comments and subscribe to our channel. See you the next time.